have to think about what you're doing. Running is such a natural thing that your mind is free to wander and free to do all sorts of things. Think out problems and uh, be creative. I think sometimes after you've run for a while, you're able to do that. Initially, it's hard to concentrate when you're breathing hard and working hard. Well, I think maybe people, like my husband says, he, he likes to run. He runs too, doesn't he? Yes, he's just started in the past couple of years. At first, when he saw me running, he would have nothing to do with it. But as the years went by, he, and he started looking it. at himself, <laughs> and he said, I've got to do something. So he runs with me, and although his natural pace is a little faster than mine, he prefers to run with me because when he runs alone, he goes too fast. He, he tends to go above what is proper aerobically. In other words, you should be able to carry on a conversation and run at the same time, and then you know that you're not overextending yourself as far as your oxygen intake. It's appropriate for the energy you're expending. You've done a lot of reading, I haven't you? I have read you? <laughs> everything. Nothing you don't know, huh? Well, I'm sure there's a lot of things I don't know, but I, when I went into it, I wanted to know what I was doing, and I didn't want to have any injuries, and I have really not had any running-related injuries. Well, I think that really proves a point. Mm -hmm. If you take the time to read, if you take the time to learn about what you're going to do, mm -hmm. you don't have to suffer problems. Too many weekend athletes get out there, and they go out and run in their regular day-to-day -day shoes. They don't warm up. They don't do any of the right things, and everything you're doing is what I wish all my patients would do. Also, mm -hmm. the, you know, when you think of a weekend athlete, sometimes that scares me with some people who are very sedentary all week long I like the idea of doing something every other day uh, if you can't get out and play your tennis or do your jogging during the week you know at least maybe you could uh, go on a stationary bike for 20 or 30 minutes and get your heart rate elevated a little bit I think that's better than letting five days go before you go out and expend a lot of energy. I think when you do it that way, when you go out for one day and quit, you can't sustain it. You expect to gain everything in that weekend, and it's impossible. It's yeah. got to be a lifestyle change. Your lifestyle has changed dramatically. I know you're a vegetarian, and yeah. you, you eat well and run well. How, what other things have happened to your life since you started exercise? Well, I think the main thing that's happened is a, is a more uh, secure feeling with your own body. Uh, and a feeling when you're when you're healthy and when you're strong a feeling that you can do anything you set your mind to it in fact my latest thing that I've been reading up on that I may get into that I'm has afraid Darryl, to hear this. <laughs> I'm afraid, I'm to, afraid to hear this well I, I, I tried it on Daryl and he was but he's pretty cool about it I think I'm gonna <laughs> Go ahead. I, I want to hear it <laughs> I think I'm gonna take up a little rock climbing I beg I, your pardon rock climbing. <laughs> See, it even sounds weird when I say it now, but I'm really fascinated at, at, uh, at climbing. Isn't that dangerous? Well, I mean, I'm not going to do the things that you do on El Capitan, you know, in Yosemite and like hang from NYU hammocks. And, yeah. I would love to see that. No, no, no. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. No, I'm not going to do that. I, the, the, uh, climbing is divided into various classes, one through six. Five and six being extremely difficult, requiring aid, like hammering pitons in and all that. There's classes one to four, which are from just simple scrambling to just simple things that you can do just roped up. Mm -hmm. And I think that's as far as I would go. But I, I don't know, maybe I've tried to figure out why I'm so fascinated by this. And maybe it has something to do with life, you know. It's just the idea of climbing and reaching the top appeals to me. Plus, I think there's one other thing. I think, at least it's my belief, that people like a little bit of fear. I mean, when maybe. something's a little bit uh, off balance, a little scary, it makes it a little bit more exciting to go out and conquer it. It's something you've never thought of doing probably before. I never thought of the, of the fear angle because I'm such a cautious person, but I love the idea of having strength and to be able to to do something like that's that. Different. So that's my next thing. <laughs> well, good luck with that. <laughs> I hope we see you back again in one piece. Yeah. Tony, when you're out of town, you know, I, I see most people can start a program when they're, everything is okay and going well, but when stress comes into their lives, they're busy, they find it difficult. You're out of town singing. What can you do to keep up your program? Well, it's tough, and it takes a lot of determination. But again, I say, you know, like I told you before, if I don't do it, it affects how I feel about myself and, and what I'm doing. Um, when we get to a city, the first thing that Daryl and I do is call the local uh, athletic shoe store. The nearest one to Great us. Great idea. And we ask them, where are the good, safe running areas in the city? In other words, you may be in a, in a big city and maybe a park would be safe to run during the day, but they will tell you don't run there at night. Um, if you can't find a park or some place that, that's aesthetically pleasing to run, um, I ask where the nearest local high school track or college track. Do you find that now that you're into your running and your diet, dieting properly and yeah. eating well, do you find you're ch 
group of friends changed? You find that you associate with less smokers and drinkers and people that maybe are into drugs and things like that? Oh, yeah. You tend to attract to you people who are into the same type of thing. Like, you know, I do, you mentioned hiking. And Daryl and I do day hiking, but he won't do any overnight hiking with me because he has to have hot running water and the <laughs> private bathroom like <laughs> and, you know, no bugs and things. So when I want to, to get back into the wilderness, which I love to do, I have to go with a group of women friends. Uh, and we, in fact, we're going at the end of this month on a three-day backpack trip into the, the Sierra. And uh, All women, huh? All women. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. I mean, women can do these things, and these gals are all strong, they're all healthy, they're in good shape, and their husbands won't go out overnight either. <laughs> so we all go together. You're all together, huh? Yeah. That's all that counts. Yeah, so you attract these kind of people to you when you're into that kind of thing. So important. Tony, I can't thank you enough for being here. It has been the greatest pleasure of my life. Oh, come on, Alan. No, I it has. It's the truth. It's the truth, and we'll, we'll be seeing you again. I really appreciate what you're doing. I oh. really do, and I hope it's a huge success. I, we all know it's going to be. Remember that exercise is a way of changing your lifestyle. It's a good way to begin to make your life what you want it to be. So go out there and get something special for you, and begin tomorrow. You'll find that it's the best thing you've ever done.